Hi guys, here's JNM with a new one for JMesh tools for Blender 3. I added new features, fixed some bugs, and I want you to tell me which features you would like to see in the add-on. Ok, so let's start. Here we have a model that consists of two objects. Both have a bevel and a weighted normals modifier added. And here I'm in primitive mode and I'm cutting through the object. It's a bug fix because I had some issues with the booleans. Now I'm symmetrizing the mesh and then I'll show you the first feature. As I said, we have modifiers added to both objects. And sometimes you just want to apply all the modifiers. So I added an operator with that you can do this. First I select all the objects for which I want to apply the modifiers. And then I just press this button here in the panel, apply all. And then you see, boom, all the modifiers are applied with one click. Saves a lot of time, here is the result. You also find this in the JMesh Pi menu when you press Shift and the comma key. Again, very simple, but a nice shortcut and time saver. Also available when selecting multiple objects. For the boolean modifier, Blender 3 has some new parameters that are made available now here in the JMesh panel. These are Hole Tolerant, a boolean optimization for meshes with holes, and the property Self Intersect. You can find these in Blender 3 only. As you know, in primitive mode of JMesh, we can extrude the primitives. Let me draw a circle primitive onto the mesh. I define this as an array and I'm going to add three items. And then I press the E key to extrude. And with this I could cut into the mesh or slice it. And now I can press Ctrl left click on the gizmo to center the mesh and the extruded part is moved as well. This wasn't possible before. The same is implemented for all primitives. Ok, another question was how can I create something like that? These rings here, these slices into the mesh. Let me show you, it's very simple using the JMesh add-on. So we start here with the plain mesh, activate the primitive mode. And then with the circle primitive, I control left click onto the mesh and draw a circle. Ok, then I click this shape action here to set the operation to slice. Then I click the array shape action. Then I add two more items and adjust the distance. Like this and then control left click the green arrow to center the array. Ok, then Ctrl left click onto the mesh and we created a slice. Very nice, and now I click the size shape action and decrease the size, the radius of the circles. Then I set the operation to difference and then Ctrl left click these new created objects. Isn't that easy? Escape to leave the primitive mode. Now we can select these new objects and for example assign a different material. Looks good, now we can symmetrize the mesh. First I select the object, then I press symmetrize and the Y axis. And the same I do for the rings. The add-on is still for free on GitHub. The link is added to the description below. But if you get it here from the Blender market, I can offer you special support. And you also support the Blender Dev Fund. So consider getting it from there. If you have any questions about JMesh tools, then add these to the comments and if you want me to add special features then let me know. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Support me by becoming my patron or even better join here as a channel member. It's worth it. See you soon guys here on my channel on JNM.